Hey everybody, I'm Lisa Roberry, your independent Scentsy consultant. Welcome back to my channel, and guess who's late to the scent and warmer of the month party? May 2020, <laughs> your girl right here. That's right, my box just arrived. I know pretty much everybody on my team who was subscribed already got their stuff. They've made samples, they've sent it out and all that jazz, and I'm like, wait, where's my box? <laughs> I'm not complaining because, hey, Better late than never, and technically it's before May 1st, so I guess we're not really late. Normally I like to get my stuff, um, I get, I, normally I get it much quicker, and as soon as I get it, I do my unboxing video with you guys, as you guys know and love. Uh, so if you have been wondering, where the heck is it, Lisa? Where are you at? Here I am, it just came. <laughs> so we are going to unbox it here today. Um, if you have gotten the whiff box for April 2020, then you've already gotten a little sneak sniff of the scent of the month. Oh, it's so good, you guys. We'll get into that here in just a second. But this warmer, I cannot wait. I cannot wait for this warmer. So, so cute. So if you are newer to Scentsy or newer to my channel, maybe you're a brand new consultant and you're wondering, hey, how the heck do I get that kit? As consultants, we are given one of the one of like millions of perks to be a consultant is we are given the opportunity to purchase either a scent of the month kit or a scent and warmer of the month kit that we are able to purchase on either the 10th or the 15th of the month, depending on where you're at. If you're in Canada, US, wherever, and they ship it out as soon as they can, depending on, you know, the world issues that are happening and but you are always able to get your hands on these products a little bit early that way you can make samples that way you can have a little sniff session and share these products with your friends with your customers before these things actually launch so in this kit and i always get the scent and warmer of the month it's I'm having trouble hearing you it's just gonna be one of those days siri is going rogue here she is on her own she's she marches to the beat of her own drum as I was saying before I was rudely interrupted. Um, this kit comes with the uh, scent of the month and the room spray. Now, if you get the just the scent of the month, you don't want the warmer, everything that I'm going to show you here is going to come with your kit. The only difference is that you'll either get the warmer or you won't. So, um, but the scent of the month kit does come with the scent of the month and the room spray. We get our marketing materials here. So our monthly specials flyer. I'm just gonna show you just a quick little glance here. I'm sure if you um, if you have a consultant of your own or if you are a consultant, I'm sure you've already seen this adorable warmer. Um, we get our 72 rub and sniff stickers, which are so much fun. We get a party tester here so that when the world is off of lockdown and we're able to meet with our friends and have sniff sessions and parties and things, then we can sniff the testers. And then we get nine bars of the scent of the month. Oh, this scent, you guys. And I know I've talked about it. I talked about it when I sniffed it on cold in the whiff box, or the whiff box, if you will. But man, I was so excited to see a like bakery themed scent of the month that I popped that sucker into my warmer immediately. And I love it. I love it. And I can't wait for the fact that I have entire bars that I can sniff through and warm through. It's so exciting. So the scent of the month is called Buzzworthy. And this is the packaging here. Super, super cute packaging. It is this like buttercream yellow design. Um, and obviously there's these little bees and little honeycomb shapes on there. Super, super cute. But it can be cute packaging all day long, but if it doesn't smell good, then who really cares, right? It's so good. It's so good. Now, what I will say is that this is one of those scents that like people, there is no like in between. People either love it or they hate it. And the vast majority of people that I have been in contact with, I will be honest, don't like it. I love it. Like there's, there's absolutely nothing about this I don't like. Now, what I, oh, it's so sweet and beautiful. <sighs> okay, for me, it's honey. Like honey is the first thing I smell right off the bat. Then very quickly after that, I smell this like almond and I'm calling it almond flower because there is like a little bit of like, sorry, I couldn't hear what you said. You can't even make this stuff up. <laughs> She's on silent. Don't do that. I, oh, this is crazy. <laughs> Bring on the thumbs down. It's fine. Um, oh man. So 
I call it like an almond flour. So it's honey, this really super sugary sweet honey, like smack in your face. And then I get this like really pretty almond flour note. And then there's this creamy vanilla to it as well. It is so good. I might keep all of the bars for myself. It is, it's so good. And it performs crazy well. Like that little sample that we got and it's, I mean, it's a pretty decent size sample. It's probably the same amount of, no, it's, it's more wax than what comes in here, but it's probably the equivalent of maybe two cubes from a bar that comes in the sample in the whiff box. I stuck it in my by the candlelight element warmer that was in my bedroom. I believe that's an eight watt uh, element warmer. So those don't throw crazy far. It was so strong, you guys. <laughs> it was crazy strong. And that is one thing I'm hearing. Whether people like it or whether they don't, this has been performing crazy strong. So I'm a big fan already. So let me tell you what Sensi says about this because here in our little monthly specials flyer, they're gonna break it down for us. So, without further ado. Scent of the month is called Buzzworthy. And uh, Sensi says, spread the word about this tasty blend of sugared almonds, creamy vanilla, and a drizzle of sweet honey. So honestly, I smell each and every little bit of that. The only thing is that I do get this little bit of a floral essence to this just just it's so slight it's so slight for me for what i smell it's honey it's almonds it like an almond flower like i said i, I think i'm making that up i think that i'm thinking i'm making that up but it's almond slightly flowery and vanilla and it's so good it's just it makes my heart so warm and happy and i love it and i can't wait to put it in all of my warmers now what i love that sensi does uh as of recently is they will actually break down the top mid and base notes here on our scents so let's go ahead and walk through this together so the top notes are honey freesia and chamomile so that's that like florally note that i'm getting from there oh, you guys it's so good here's the thing if you don't like i could see how some people may think this is cloying or like too sweet i can kind of understand that but i love cloying and sweet i really do it's very very sweet and i i love it Ugh. mid notes shaved almond crushed walnut and clove leaf the clove leaf surprises me because clove to me is definitely more spicy i get zero spice from this absolutely zero legit all i smell from this is just honey this almond flour that i'm making a thing and um vanilla oh it's so good base notes creamy white woods and vanilla bean i would have to agree with every single part of this except for the clove leaf i don't get clove and i've warmed this so i can tell you when it's warmed i don't get clove either so there's that. Oh, it's so good. And I'm so happy that Scentsy has created a bakery scent for a scent of the month. This makes me so happy. So buzzworthy. If you agree with a lot of my same tastes, give this one a try. What I have found to be a thing is that if people are a fan and let me know your thoughts, if you are a fan of Be My Honey, do I have a catalog here? No, I think it's, I have got one in the office, I think. Um, so I can't, well, I can tell you the notes if I want to make you wait for a second. Um, if you are a fan of the current scent, Be My Honey, what I have found is that people who love Be My Honey don't love Buzzworthy. Uh, I've got my girlfriend who love, I've, actually, I've got a couple of girlfriends that love, love, love Be My Honey, but this like makes them sick. <laughs> I'm like, really? Um, let me see here honey okay be my honey description is well it's it's very different i guess it's very different description is pineapple rings topped with sweet honey and jasmine bloom make a fit uh, make a treat fit for a queen so for me in be my honey it smells like a honey baby powder like it's very powdery to me this is not powdery there is a little bit of that floral note that just gives it just that just a little bit of a floral essence to it but to me personally this is not powdery 
I love this. I really, I, I love it. It's fantastic. If, yeah, if I, if I'm stuck with all nine of these bars, I'm going to be a happy camper. So there's that. Okay. So we've got nine of the bars and we have the warmer of the month. Yes, we do. I am super pumped for this because if you saw my spring warmer tour uh, i believe i mentioned in that that i am planning on replacing my parlor warmer that is on my mantle downstairs with this warmer and actually i think what i'm gonna do don't tell my husband um i think i'm actually going to add another warmer to my mantle <laughs> i have the one of my girlfriends in my vip group had posted her southern hospitality warmer which is the white pineapple I think I might do the white pineapple on one side and maybe do this one on the other. I don't know. Well, I, I don't know. We'll have to see. Okay. I am so happy today, you guys. <laughs> this, this came and I was just like, yes. Okay. So this warmer is called Kindness. And we have on the inside, as always, you know, I love the packaging so very much. And on the inside, on the inside lips here. Um, there's always a quote in our mission statement and this quote for this box is from Orville and he's one of our co-CEOs absolutely amazing our CEOs are fantastic love them so very much and Orville says our lives are full of meaning because um, because of your lives and the impact we have on the world together how perfect is that for our current situation <laughs> so all right so we have and is this a 25 watt Yes, this is a 25 watt warmer. This makes me happy because I really wanted to play with some colored bulbs here. So this makes me super happy. All right. Oh, yes. Oh, it's so cute. Ooh, okay, all right. Ooh, this is so nice. So this is, let me put the clear bulb in. So all of our warmers, if it is not an element warmer, the element warmers mean that they don't take a light bulb. They are heated with a heating plate. Either you'll be able to see the heating plate or some of our designs, the heating plate is actually inside the warmer. If it's not an element warmer, then all of our warmers do come with a clear bulb. So that's always fun and especially if you want to play around with some of our colored bulbs now with our colored bulbs they are only 25 watts so make sure if the warmer that you're wanting to play around with the colors does take a 25 watt bulb if it's a 20 watt warmer don't put a 25 watt bulb in there it becomes a fire hazard so consider yourself warned okay so this is the kindness warmer look how cute this is so here's one of the things that I noticed right off the bat it is a it's ceramic it's ceramic it's not glass so this so this particular design of warmer gets a little bit warmer because the ceramic uh, material actually traps and encases the heat a little bit better and and holds it better so these tend to perform a little bit better as well um better than say like our glass warmers or things like that because it kind of let the glass warmers set um give off more heat if that makes sense so if you can see here so but this ceramic is so it's like so nice and smooth i was expecting um more of a porous finish a lot of art which isn't a bad thing it's totally not a bad thing um but it's just it's so smooth it's really really nice so and you can see that there's this like leaf design here and of course I'm gonna light it up for you there's a little bee design and it says kind so be kind so fun okay I'm so excited this is so cute totally perfect for spring and summer so I'm not even gonna box this back up I'm just gonna stick it on my mantle but first you guys have to help me decide what bulb to use i think i think i'm gonna stick with the clear but we'll see oh shoot i meant to grab my purple bulb just to see all right let's take a gander here so here she is and this warmer is going to be available starting on may 1st 2020 for 36 dollars. originally it is 40 dollars. so if it is available past may into june july um it will be 40 dollars. so here we go. We should turn off my lighting. Okay. 
Oh, you can actually see the design a little bit better here too. How cute is that? Oh, I love it. Okay. Pink. Oh, it's so cute. I love this. It's absolutely adorable. I don't love bees, <laughs> but I, hey, I love me some honey. So I, I drink honey in my tea all the time. We always have honey. I, and so for that, I love these little critters and I know they kind of help keep our world going around. So, um, your girl here doesn't run, but if there's a bee, <laughs> I'm going to be running for the hills, but this is so super cute. Be kind. I love this. It's not a huge warmer. Let's see. Do we have the uh, height here? Six and a half inches tall, 25 watt bulb. And since he says about this, let's get this back in focus here. Um, warmer of the month is called kindness. The perfect daily mantra is etched into high fire porcelain for a glow that's almost as sweet as its message. I love this. This is definitely going on my mantle because I just feel like this is just a, such a pretty, it's such a pretty glow and you've got these, um, hole cutouts here. So the holes are not towards the front, not even really on the sides so much. They're all on the back. So what I love about this is whenever it's on either a shelf or if it's near a wall or something, you're going to have that really pretty glow from behind without it necessarily blinding you. Cause that's the thing that I have heard most about with like some of our, I mean, you'll see a lot of these warmers back here that are really super bright. Um, I've had a lot of people say, you know what? They're just a little bit too bright. This is a nice, subtle kind of I don't want to say it's an amber glow because it's really not amber. This is more of like a cool white glow. It's really nice though. I really, really love this. So I am pleasantly surprised. Um, now, of course, we're going to play with some bulbs. So I've got here to share with you the green bulb, which these are currently available, the red bulb and the orange bulb. Um, if you manage to pick up the yellow bulb from the clearance section, you can definitely do that here. Um, I thought I had the yellow bulb up here, but I don't. So I don't have that to show you. The yellow bulb is no longer in the clearance section. So, um, I'm sorry, but, um, I have seen a few people actually use the yellow bulb in this and it's nice. It kind of gives you obviously more of that yellow glow and kind of dulls it down just a little bit more, but um, we are gonna play with the uh, orange, the green, and the red. So let's do that, shall we? Ooh, that sucker's hot. Okay, what first? Let's do orange. Since this one is currently available, this is going to give you kind of the same kind of vibe as the yellow. I think that's, I heard rumors. I, I don't know how true it is, but I heard rumors that that's why they got rid of the yellow bulb because the orange and the yellow were so similar that they just decided to keep the orange instead. Mm -hmm, this is super pretty. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, that's so pretty. So this is the orange. So once again, if you're looking for something a little bit softer and so the glowing from behind isn't going to be quite as bright either, but it's nice. Okay, now let's do the red. Oh, let's do the green. We always know I like to end on red because red's my favorite color. And these colored bulbs, by the way, these colored bulbs are $2 each, so for your reference. And I am doing pre-orders. If you would like to be on my pre-order list, let me know. Otherwise, these will be available on May 1st, both the scent and the warmer. I don't anticipate the warmer selling out super fast, but I've been wrong about other things. <laughs> so who knows? Here's the green. Super cool. So see, this is what I mean. Like, so if you have a warmer that you can very easily keep out all year, you can kind of customize it to different holidays like St. Patrick's Day. Um, you can do the orange for maybe Halloween. You can do the red for Christmas. So fun. Or if you just like these colored bul bulbs for all the time, you can absolutely do that as well. So love the green. 
And now let's check the red. I think I'm gonna end up with the clear. Downstairs. But who knows, who knows. Now we've got the red. I don't know if the purple is going to shine through this. The purple bulb is very, it's a very dimly lit bulb, but I think it still would be pretty. And here's the red. So fun. So this would be awesome for like the holidays. Or like I said, if you just like red, like myself, red's my favorite color. So I love that. So you've got the bee kind and I just, I love how smooth this is. I was anticipating it to be more porous. Now I still wouldn't recommend like having a wax dent, spilling wax all over this. It's gonna be, I can tell you right now, it's going to be the biggest headache to try to clean wax off the side of this. Um, so I would just recommend to use the cotton ball method to change out your wax if you tend to have little spilling issues from time to time because it's still kind of porous, but not nearly as porous as I was anticipating. So let me show you the clear bulb one last time and then we will wrap this up for today. I'm so happy this came. I was kind of bummed. I was like, where is it? Now with that being said, I got my Cinderella warmers like crazy early so i was super super pumped about that and i know that sensi home office is working like crazy like people who are working normally in the main building at home office and marketing and consultant support and all of that like everybody it's like all hands on deck that are um, helping in the shipping department so they are working around the clock to get our orders out so once again, this is the clear. So this is the bulb that it actually comes with. So I think I like this, especially if I'm going to have the white Southern hospitality pineapple on the other side of the mantle. I think I'm just going to keep it white. So I love that. So this is going to be available starting May 1st, 2020 for the grand total of $36 just for the month of May. If it, this does have the um, ability to sell out, if it is super popular, it is only available while supplies last. So, uh, but if it is available past May, then it will bump back up to $40. So, super cute, I love that. So let me know if you would like to be on my pre-order list. Otherwise, you can go to my link that I will link down below, or you can go to your consultant's website. If you have any questions, definitely let me know. I will, as always, link my information down below. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you are a consultant, if, you, um, if you've sniffed out these bars. I would love to know to know your thoughts and if you are if you're not a consultant if you're a customer and if you got your hands on a whiff box and you tried out the sample of this uh scent buzzworthy i want to know your thoughts i want to know that i'm not the only one who loves this because <laughs> i love this and i'm and i'm hearing like so many people that are like it's horrible and i'm just like i feel bad that i love it but i do i love it sorry not sorry <laughs> So, all right, you guys, thank you so much for watching. If you're new, please subscribe. Otherwise, I will see you in my next video. Bye, guys.